first of all, a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel since my Booker 2020 video has gone up. Um, I never really know what to say in these situations, um, but I'm truly, truly thankful that we're nearing 700 people on this channel. It was literally two days ago, I was like just touching 600 and pah, overnight. Um, yeah, thank you. Additionally, the amount of enthusiasm people are expressing in regards to Booker 2020 is like incredible to me. There's loads of people who commented last time saying that they don't really follow this prize, but from watching me talk about it, are going to pick up like all the long list. Some people are just going to read the short list and there's others who just want to read one book and you know that's great what the booker prize means to me personally is very hard to articulate but i want to let people know that the majority of books that have shaped me have changed me into what i would hope to be a better person have come in contact with the booker prize and it's always great knowing that these books that you see talked about discussed come in contact with the booker. There was an absolute roller coaster last night when I only bloody knew one of them, Hilary Mantel. Oh. <laughs> if you haven't seen my review, it was pretty much me going, Mantel, there's some other books. I, I, I hadn't heard of them. I haven't heard of them. So I don't do any research. I just go to buy the books because that's easier to do. So and then I realised most of them aren't even out yet, so I'm just pre-order central. We got post my billing and shipping address, it was just going left, right and centre everywhere. And then, like, it's eight hours later into the day, I get all these emails going, Hey, you know that book in September was coming out? Nah, it's arriving next week, don't you worry, maybe we got... <laughs> what? I digress. I felt vindicated when I saw that a lot of people have not heard of these books. And uh, it's because the majority of these novels are from debut authors, ones that we're not entirely sure of. And when you have like eight Booker novels against a heavy hitter like Mantell, there's definitely an understanding why people are scratching their heads thinking, what is this prize going to be? If you've been here for a while, you will know that I'm not very judgmental when it comes to literature and I'm not very picky. <coughs> Smith. Rather than reserving judgment on what I gleaned off when I was ordering the books, I thought if I go to the Booker site, we can all discover these books together. Maybe we can have a little bit of an understanding of what they're about and some thoughts on it. I just want to let you know, like this is editing here, and um, th this is not comprehensive at all for what follows. Um, I, I just ramble. You can go back to the video now. Before we delve into the first book, I did say in my last video that if anyone wanted to buddy read um, these books with me, to let me know. And I had a quite a few number of people. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about the book and then in the description, I'm going to link to the person I'm going to be doing the buddy read with as well. So please do check them out. I'm also going to be calling some people out as well because they haven't responded and I'm going to buddy read with you, okay? So book number one is The New Wilderness by Diane Cook, who I'm going to be buddy reading with T with Stevie. This is about B, who has an ill daughter, and they're consumed by smog pollution of the city. And then as an experiment, they leave to the New Wilderness, which is a vast, expansive, unwelcoming, untamed land and is untouched by mankind. Um, hmm dystopian hasn't this been done before i don't know about this one i i'm it just screams long list it just screams book a long list that that's it to me right okay let's move on to the next one oh, this one won't be up a treat so it's titi dangaremka's uh, the mournable body now this is the last book in a trilogy now i know the mirror of the light is the last of a trilogy, but I've read Wolf Hall and Bring Up the Body, so I'm pretty okay with having the mirror and the light because I've kind of done the work. But there is no chance that I'm going to be able to get 
everything that I need out of this book without reading Nervous Conditions and The Book of Not, the last two before it. So I'm gonna have to read those and I've ordered them because I want to be able to experience this book as it's meant to be. I don't have this issue with the mirror and the light because I've read the other two, so it, it, but it would annoy me. It would annoy me. I'm always told with books that are put up for prizes to kind of sit somewhere in a series that isn't the first book. And hey, this might be the best out of the lot, as it is the case with The Mirror and the Light. We're not discussing Mirror and the Light. We all know Mirror and the Light. You can have that one for free. So please know I'm going to be reviewing the other two books prior to this because it's the only way I'm gonna, like, appreciate this in its entirety. This novel follows the character of Tam Bunzai and the trials and tribulations that she goes through in order to live her life. Again, those types of books I really resonate with, so I'm really keen to read this. It's a shame that I just gotta read two other books. <laughs> If anyone's open to buddy reading this, just message me on Instagram and we can sort it out. Burnt Sugar by Avni Doshi. Ah, uh, mm, no. Right, okay, so this is about a daughter and a mother relationship and a mother is forgetting things. And their relationship. Wasn't this Everything Under by Daisy Johnson? Have we just got another Daisy Johnson by any chance? I've not read Daisy Johnson, but I'm pretty sure I remember that just being the plot. So... Doesn't scream to me. Doesn't scream out to me. I feel as though we've had this before. It's a nice cover. Oh, oh no, this one. This one, right. No one has said they're gonna buddy read this with me. And I am dis- Pointed. Therefore, GK Reads, I'm calling you out publicly. I want to read this with you. Who Day Was by Gabriel Crowther. This sounds amazing. So it's about like the underbelly of London. And I believe the novel's written like in like a London slang. Which, interesting, love it. But if it's modern and this violent, it's gonna be like, is it gonna talk about like acid attacks? Is it gonna be talking about like the rise in knife crime? It's a side of London that's very much portrayed in the British media and very much targets stereotypes of people. And I just think if Krautzer can make this like a palpable story and you're just like in it, you're just there and you're immersed and the language is going to help with that this this sounds amazing i don't i will put money on this one shortlist guaranteed and if it's not hey i might read it it might be awful but just based on that it sounds mwah. next one is hillary mantel you should all know that by now. Moving on. Oh, A Paragon by Colin McCann. Oh, some people aren't happy with this one. I believe it's based on true stories about Rami, who's Israeli, and Bassam, who is Palestinian. And the conflicts that's happening on the West Bank. We're going to have killings. We're going to have suicide bombings. We're going to have war. But that is what's going on in that side of the world. And people aren't happy about it because Colin McCann is Irish. Look, for me, if he can tell that story and make more people aware on it, more power to literature. I don't think we should be, like, segregating people off, be like, you can't talk about that, you can't talk about this, because it, it'll be dry. Literature will be dry. I'm intrigued more than enthralled. Oh, this one sounds really good. The Shadow King by Maaza Mengister. Right, okay. Mussolini invades Ethiopia, and in regards to colonialism, it was the piece of land that no one really wanted. So Italy came in to take it because Mussolini wanted um, a colony 
to create the Holy Roman Empire again. He didn't anyway. So this is about Herod and some other women who basically just want to like fight the good fight. Oh, yes, I am so I am in this like swimwear. On like a car bonnet. This sounds great. I am buddy reading this withdraw my book. The I'm so, I'm so ready for it. Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. <sighs> this doesn't seem like it should be on the booker. I'll take the fleck on this. I know people love this book. And especially with Read and Rush that just happened. A lot of people read this. For what I've garnered... This just does not scream Booker. Does that make me sound pretentious? Yes. You always have to view this like this is a prize. And I, I don't know if this is going to stand up like at all to like the complexities. I don't know. A young black woman is seen with a white toddler. A crowd comes. There's, there's um, social media interaction. It's just not, it's, it's not doing it for me, this book. I'm willing to be proven wrong. And I might read this and think. This is long list only. This is a go at anyway. It's not going anywhere with this one. Um, what what is what is gonna go? This sounds really good. Um, Real Life by Brandon Taylor. Well, I'm just gonna read over this one more time. Wallace is a university student and his dad passes away and really looks into trauma questioning the past. And I believe there's a lot of um relationships across the spectrum this oh, yes i saw cj reads talk about this in one of her um videos and it, it didn't click because the uk cover is different it's the same book but this sound great also also simon savage says that it could have a little bit of a little life um aspect to it and i love a depressing read i love crying i really hope it makes me cry so i've kind of like big myself up that i'm just gonna be like oh, rag. it's gonna be great michaela jumped on the chance i said i want to read this so we're doing that and ah it's gonna be really good oh oh yeah this one and tyler i this this just seems like a nice read that's it that's all i have to say on it Michael Mortimer, Polish man, has a happy balance in life, and then someone knock, knock, knock on the door. Hi, I'm your son. I already just discovered Anne Tyler won the Pulitzer, so maybe I've had like Anne Tyler wrong for many years. Let's get the mediocre maraca out. It just sounds mediocre. Mediocre maraca time. I. Yeah, let's skip past this one. Shuggy Bane. Shuggy Bane. This. Mantel doesn't win it. I already want Shuggy Bane to win it. Shuggy Bane follows Shuggy and his mum. And his mum is an alcoholic. And how she alienates everyone around her. And even her own son. I think this is going to touch, like, so many places with me, with my childhood. And... I just hope it's as heartbreaking and as bleak and possibly as harrowing when you really get into the depths of like alcoholism. And I just, I just want this, like to do that topic so justly. Because I don't think anyone has to deal with that in any way, shape or form. And I... I, I think the history is really, like, so important when it comes to Thatcherism and the utter, like, dismay she caused in small mining towns and how people still have like never recovered 
they've never recovered from losing their jobs, losing everything, everything, and are stuck in this place that is so, like, tight-knit in community, yet everyone is so alienated because their lives have just been, like, absent from them. We, ha we have a word in Welsh, which is heroith, which doesn't really have, like, a direct translation but what it means is like a feeling of like nostalgia for your home and I just think it's going to give me that especially like on everything else it's going to talk about I feel as though I'm going to just like resonate with this I feel as though I, I just want my vibration to be parallel with this in so many ways in so many ways. Not that Douglas Stewart's gonna see this, but I will be distraught if this does not do any justice to the topics. Um, so, Brooke Mercer, you've seen my emotional display. Um, look forward to buddy reading that with you. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. Freshly read books. Spoke about this one. Um, who I'm going to be doing the buddy read, um, Love and Other Thought Experiments, about uh, a couple, um, Rachel and Eliza, one of them thinks they got an ant stuck in their eye, it's meant to be quite philosophical, meant to be <sighs> philosophy of the mind. Mm. For my English degree, and more so my English masters, I did a lot of philosophy. I've, oh, you really got to make it like digestible for people and I just pray that this if it's done well if it's done well if it's readable if it's digestible if it's able to express abstract tangential thought in a tight allegorical way I have high hopes for this but this could be a type of book which panics me a little bit. A lot of people have raved over this book and hyperbolized it and I just hope the hyperbole is in truth. That's it. I just want people to like tell the truth on this one and not be afraid to be like I don't understand what's going on here because I will do that because I'm not ashamed to say I don't know anything but what I do know is this book. How much of these hills is gold? <sighs> this sounds great. This sounds great. This is As I Lay Dying by William Faulkner. Hopefully, really hopefully, done correctly. Lucy and Sam, 1211, carrying their dead father on their backs, trying to find a burial ground for him. I just, I, I keep thinking William Faulkner. So I do apologise if it's like nothing like that, but it just screams As I Lay Dying. And I need this book. I need this book. I think I've got like a week until it arrives, but by God, do I need it. This sounds great. I also want to make people aware that the author, Si Pam Zhang, has said if you're an Asian woman or non-binary and you can't afford the book, contact her and she's going to try and distribute as many as possible. I can't wait to get my grubby little hands off. If I had to put money on one of these books, I, I'm going to say Shuggy Bane. <laughs> Now, I love The Mirror of the Light. It's incredible. It was the first book review I ever did on YouTube. And it was the reason why I've, like, started this entire thing. So it has a special place in my heart. But Shuggy Bane takes so many boxes. I just need it. I need it to pull it off. Generally, with Booker, I change my mind after I read the books. I'm open. I'm willing. I'm ready to just succumb to beautiful literature and I'm just so keen about this I'm just so keen I know a lot of people will be reading along but for me I really want to get like a schedule in place so my next video on Booker is going to be the actual timeline of what books I'm going to be reading and when I'm going to be reading them so if you want to join along you can how well done well done, Kieran. Forward planning. Very well done. If you want more Booker content from me, please do check out my Instagram. We got giggles, we got laughs, we got books galore. It's a grand old place to be. 
click the link down below and I will welcome you with open arms because that's how following works. I can't really like, stop you from following me and I'm not going to be blocking anyone. So.